I'm Farida. I want to introduce Shahriyar Al Hasli. He's got his bachelor's degree in petroleum engineering from Azerbaijan State Oil and Industry University and his master's degree from the University of Tulsa, again in petroleum engineering. And currently he's working as a researcher at EIB Research and Development Center. Good day, Farida, as well. I also welcome you. Okay, so Shahriya, you have actually lived and studied in Oklahoma, US. Could you give the highlights of that period and your involvement in the corresponding SP student chapter? Well, uh, my SP activities uh, in the United States was quite a bit different from the Azerbaijan uh, part because uh, I wasn't that heavily involved as an active member uh, during my master studies uh, in the United States as in Azerbaijan. That mostly was related to my research activities and my teaching activities in, in states. But overall, I was attending distinguished lectures. I was communicating uh, with all people and active members, uh, mostly actually consisting of bachelors. Uh, I felt like in the US, master and PhD students are not that heavily involved in that rather than bachelors. Uh, and there were plenty nice distinguished lectures. That's where I focused on where uh, technical people all around the world, different universities, companies were giving a quite interesting and uh, very nice presentations uh, on um, state-of-the-art problems in uh, oil and gas industry and many other interesting topics. Countless number of young individuals dream of settling down in the United States. Would you share the story of how you decided to come back home? So, uh, almost the thing, I never had that type of dream which you just mentioned on the countless people. Uh, when I was uh, moving to the United States, first I want to like, say that I was inspired by uh, people I met within actually SB Azerbaijan, uh, who inspired me on the technical and the research direction for my future. And I, uh, that's why my goal, my primary goal was uh, to increase my skills, to get more uh, technically stronger. That's and I got opportunity to move to United States. So since my primary goal was more into that and uh, to feel the environment which is overseas, how the research and general education goes in countries like United States, I was more uh, hunting for those uh, type of uh, things rather than leaving the place. Uh, and I came back and I believe and I see that in our country there are also plenty you know, talented people, uh, there are many teams with good environment and uh, many uh, direction, good direction is going on uh, right now in this scope in our country as well. So uh, I think that we will reach the high standards in the future and we are more or less on the right track on that. The University of Tulsa that you graduated from is described as a private research university. On top of that, your current position at EI Link Research and Development Center is the lead researcher. So there's definitely a pattern there. Uh, what stands behind your passion for innovation and science? So, so initial actually it wasn't that way. Um, I started also as a regular bachelor student. I was attending SP seminars. I had um, several internships and all of that. Uh, and was doing more engineering and uh, reading books and all of that. After that, uh, I... Uh, as I said, was inspired uh, by several people with, uh, whom I know from SP Azerbaijan, who also opened up for me new frontiers, basically new doors, I would say, and uh, told me that there is also other directions and more. Uh, there are many things beyond that. I started exploring, and I found uh, many universities uh, in the United States and in Europe. So ended up to be in Tulsa, as you said, a private research university. It's not large, but uh, there are many interesting uh, research directions. And since I already uh, ki kind of felt that spirit, I uh, tuned myself to that mood. I, uh, when I came back to Azerbaijan, I also uh, got an opportunity to also, uh, to continue this type of work. And uh, EILING was established by the support of Hazar University and SP Azerbaijan. So uh, I got lucky to get that opportunity and I'm pursuing it right now. Could you give short insights on the projects that you have led through to inspire people who are considering research as their future career path? 
So I would say actually that oil and gas industry uh, is quite broad and deep. Um, uh, we in Airlink doing also, um, you know, different type of the projects since uh, uh, we have different uh, ba uh, people with different backgrounds, you know, uh, mathematicians, physicians, ge uh, from ge geology and geoscience. I'm myself from petroleum, in uh, a petroleum engineering graduated. But uh, the more we kind of digging into the any stuff because... Uh, we want to answer the questions which haven't been answered yet the more we do realize that uh, integration of this uh, different disciplines is quite important so uh, I, it is my own experience and also suggestion that first of all for bachelor students for example it's quite important to strengthen their fundamental skills from math physics and chemistry after that you can step on on any uh, other directions like the programming and of course the subjects nowadays uh, when we work on our projects uh, it's amazingly like you know to to see how chemical engineering mechanical even engineering sometimes gets tightened with the petroleum engineering problems we couldn't have even imagined and um, one of the most important thing is uh, always asking why so why is that why is this so that leads you to new frontiers and uh, data analytics the data science machine learning type of the uh, directions are also heavily uh, involved in petroleum engineering and uh, it is state of the art and i also encourage to 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 go in that direction for future researchers thank you shahriyar for coming and answering our questions hopefully it will inspire sp members